Pretty good. Um, I don't know how to get back to the screen here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm new to this too, man. I'm a new channel since the oh, first there one. Are. There you are. Okay, good to have you on, buddy. Yeah, a lot of people have been interested and wanting to hear this story. And uh, oh, that yeah, I'm, like I said, this is new. Uh, I think this is new for YouTube. This app. So this is something I'm just doing. I'm just doing it on my phone too. I'm a new channel. I've only been here, you know, a few months. So, but uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Well, my name is Tom. Um, I've been driving uh, semi since 2004 in Sugar Beet Fields, and then in, uh, I did that for about five, six years. And then I uh, got my Class A in 2010 and been um, started out in box vanning and 53-foot box van. And um, then I graduated to a uh, flatbed, also known as a skateboard. And I right. uh, pulled... And I currently pull a 48-foot uh, flat with a 10-foot spread. Wow. Who do you work for now? Uh, Willie Jensen Trucking out of Osage, Minnesota. Awesome, awesome. And where do you, where do you, where do you live at? Uh, Minnesota. So you live in Minnesota. So you're kind of used to the weather. Yes. They got a lot of it, it, there. It is. Uh, this morning when I started my car, when I went to the chiropractor, it was negative 20 <laughs> degrees. Sorry about that. Y'all hear my dog barking. I apologize. Yes, 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 good. I'm at home today, so that's good to be. I'm glad to see you're home too, man. You, you glad to be home? Oh yeah, it feels really good. <laughs> so, so tell everybody your story. Let's start from the beginning. And I, you know, I got the pictures. I wish I could throw them up on the screen. But look, y'all, I'm a new YouTube YouTuber. You know, I'm new at this. I'm learning. This is actually my first live interview I've ever done. So, uh, so you know, I can't imagine what you went through, man. But yeah, if you could explain to everybody, start from the beginning. You know, your trip, where you went, and what happened. I'm gonna let the floor is yours. So let's see here. What would have been the? I can't remember what did, what the dates are, but uh, not this this coming or last Saturday or not this past Saturday, but the Saturday or Sunday before, I took off for Casper, Colorado, knowing that the storm was coming in. So I hurried down there to unload, or Casper, Wyoming. I'm sorry. Right. Right. I unloaded my load of OSB down there at the Menards. Then I reloaded some uh, reels, that orange, uh, like, um, PEX reels for uh, fiber to go onto the ground for internet and stuff. Loaded 12 of those, started going on the I-90, and then uh, once I hit, like, Rapid City, South Dakota, that was Monday, uh, the 12th, it started raining, and then it started freezing rain. So I pulled over in wow. Murdo, South Dakota, parked there for the night, and then uh, woke up in the morning, and there was a bunch of snow, and I couldn't move. So I just had to hunker down. I was at a pilot truck stop, so thankful, thanks for that. Okay. And then, and then on the third day, I um, definitely uh, needed fuel because my low fuel light came on. Right. Um, they were plowing the, the driveway so guys could get the, the fuel if they needed it. And uh, the guy, he didn't plow right in front of my truck, so I had to go talk to the skid, skid oper or skidder operator. He, he, he plowed under there, and then I tried to pull forward, and I could just barely pull forward and rock the truck. So I uh, had to ask the, one of the guys in the tractors to hook up to me and pull me out, and that cost me $100, but right. it's worth worth it in my opinion than running out of fuel when it's cold out. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. So, so you got it where you able to use the fuel then? I got fuel, yep, full tank. I actually made it up to Fargo, North Dakota <laughs> on that fuel. So I was wow. thankful for that. Um but uh if it wasn't for the other drivers that were decent in the truck stop, I would have gotten nuts. Literally. Oh yeah. When when shared stories I actually got a uh, guy that was in a just a just a um cube van um his phone number he lives in tennessee he wanted to keep in touch because we had a lot in common and stuff so right so i i have his number but there was believe it or not there was three africans from africa there unrelated never met before but they met themselves each other there what's the chances of that that's awesome. Your Lord does crazy things. So yeah, that's cool. So they're from they're from the same place and or near the same place. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, and uh, it was a. It, I mean, as much as it sucked, 
it still was um, very educational because that's the longest right, time right. I've ever been was stranded. It, 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 the first time that you were stranded, like in a place like that, for that long. So you were for, stranded for a week. For that long, yeah, because it was it was Monday at about six p.m. Central Time right. to to that following Saturday. So that was the seventeenth. At noon, I was able. They wow. opened up the state again because the whole. They was like a farmer had pulled you with a tractor or something. Yeah, well, they they're contracted to the the pilot to plow oh, the driveway okay, okay. and stuff. So they pulled so, you over to the fuel. I oh, got you. Got you some fuel. Yeah, I just bobtailed over there, and if you all right. don't know what I, I, was what I, was I, I was wondering if you left your trailer or how that happened. So yeah, that makes sense. And you had yeah. plenty of food in your truck, and I guess you had food at the truck stop. So I mean, at least yeah, you couldn't um, like stretch on a. There was a there lady. Was yeah, there was a lady there that um, she walked 15 minutes to work because there was a subway in there, and she walked there. She was probably about 50, 55 years old. She walked there to make sure we had subs for food. That is or cool. else, yeah, so she, she walked there just to make sure everybody had to, to make sure everybody had food. Yes, that is cool. and, and That's it was cool. very. That just shows there's a lot of good people out here in our country, and a lot of people say a lot of bad things, but that just shows there's a lot of good people still, still out there willing to help and really communicate and you know get through. That's that's great, man. That's great. Um, what advice would you give? A lot of a lot of my people on my channel is weird. It's like 50 percent uh, experienced drivers, other 50 percent are brand new. So what advice would you give? You know, your new driver that's facing that's headed out west right now. Like I got a driver that I trained. Two months ago, he called me, and uh, he has a load going to. He's picking up here in Georgia, but he's going to. Uh, he's going to Denver, and I don't know what you know. I don't know what's going to. I don't know what battle about being wild me. I don't know, and I see another storm front coming through. What advice would you have with somebody, somebody like that? Be prepared. Um, in the winter months, a lot of drivers I've talked to do not go under a half a tank of fuel in this cold because you can gel right. up. Make sure you have the right. Um, <clears throat> right, uh, right fuel. Don't run number run number one, not number two, because number one is right. treated fuel. Right. Treated fuel is so so you can get down in that temperature, so your fuel doesn't gel up on you, and um, and just make your truck not run. And sometimes it takes a couple days to get it ungelled. Right. And, right. Um, exactly. Be prepared, like with clothes. Bring, always bring extra clothes, you know. Right, yeah. um, food, because you get wet. Extra, you get wet out of there, right? Yeah, bring extra food. Make sure you have extra food. Be prepared because just in case you get stranded. I mean, because I could have been in a rest area, and that would I would have ran out of tank or out of fuel, and then it ran out of food. You know, so. I mean, I have a bunch of junk food in the truck because I like to snack. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. But I um, I went pretty sparingly on my food because usually I eat two Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowls in the morning, every morning before I start. Yeah. Because if I don't yeah, eat any other right. meal, I eat breakfast always. Oh, yeah, me too, me too, me too. So um, I got, a, I mean, in my truck, I got, I got a setup. I got a little mini fridge, kind of like a dorm yeah. fridge. It actually has a freezer door freezer. in it. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh and I got a microwave uh and an air fryer. I added the air fryer myself, which is really nice because you can make hamburgers, I, you can make steaks. I haven't got the, the air fryer, the air fryer. I, I you know I'm I'm glad you said that because I seen one at Walmart. I don't have an air fryer in my truck. You know, I've got a uh, I have a little frying pan, you know, I've got a little skillet, uh, you know, I have things I can cook with the air fryer. How does the air fryer work? Does it work pretty good? The new air fryers? Yeah. I, I really like it. I, I bought one on a limb because I heard good things. For the house, and you can cook, you can cook a hamburger in it. You can cook hamburgers, steaks. You can cook uh, really? potatoes, freaking. Really? Um, yeah, and it makes it really good, and nice and crispy. We made bacon in it once, and oh, some of the best oh, man, bacon. I love me some bacon. I, 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 I you, carry packs of bacon with me every week. I cook bacon every day. I love bacon. I'm a diabetic. I'm a diabetic and I can eat bacon because there's no, it doesn't raise my sugar up. So um, real quick, I'll share this with you. Uh, today I went, you know, I don't know if you know what A1C is. Do you know what that is for a diabetic? Uh, that's something with your cholesterol, isn't it? Yeah, it's with, you know, it's with your sugar. Like I, if you get over a 10, you have to take insulin and then you, you know, you can lose your CDLs or whatever. Well, I got up to a 10.6 in March and I had to go back in July for my physical and I was worried that, you know, they may, pull my CDL or, you know, or put me on insulin and I'll lose my license. So I got it down to a six, seven by July. 
Uh, and then I went today and I'm already a diabetic for, you know, 15 years. They said I'm a five, three, which is non-diabetic. I still take my medicine, but I mean, it's like, they're like, Whoa, how the heck did you do that? You must be like going to the stream gym. I'm like, no, I sit on my ass all day long. I drive a truck, <laughs> but I did it. I did it though. And I did it because I quit eating the bread and I quit drinking sodas and I quit eating sweet stuff. So I still eat, I eat my hamburger meat. I still eat my bacon. You know, I eat salads, I eat vegetables, but I just, I cut out like, the, the bun, you know what I'm saying? Like I cut out the bread and I cut out the sodas, but enough about that. I just wanted to, I wanted to, you know, that's something I was proud of. I wanted to get out there today, but uh, yeah. So man, that's a really interesting story you got there, man. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you turned out. All right, man. I'm glad everything worked out good. Was you able to be in touch with your wife and everything? Did you have a good signal where you was at? Yeah, I had decent signal. I mean, it was kind of spotty, but it was decent enough to make phone calls, text, uh, browse the internet, watch your videos, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I do a, I do a lot of crazy videos. Like I, said, I just started a few months ago. I'm new. I'm not nothing like Mother Trucker. He's got like, God, he's got like 350,000 followers. But I just started three months ago, so we'll build it up and see what happens. But I'm not monetized yet. But it's something I enjoy doing. I enjoy helping other drivers. And share, I want to share stories like this, man. This is, this is crazy. Like you got to be prepared. And I tell drivers like, gotta have clothes, like you said, and gotta have food. You never know what's gonna happen. It could be where you Extra. broke down. Toilet extra paper, blankets you know? too, like just in case right. you're you're somewhere because then you can huddle up in your blanket. I mean, yeah. a space heater wouldn't be a bad idea. Like a little propane heater wouldn't be a bad idea because right. you, you can always crack. Because you can always crack the windows to, to vent it and stuff. So yeah, yeah, I've got one under my bunk. I got a Mister Heater in my bunk just in case. It's not. I don't put off a lot of heat, but it's something. It probably work. I've never used it in the truck, but if I had to, I could. You know what I mean? But yeah, that yep. air fryer, dude. I'm definitely going to check that air fryer out. That sounds really interesting. Like. So yeah. you cook hamburgers in it, and, and and you said you said bacon. That's what got me. <laughs> yeah, that's um, awesome. There's there's another YouTuber that I watch. He uh, Alex, the trucking guy. I've seen him. I like him too. I'm a subscriber yeah. to his channel too. He 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 has some videos on how to cook cook meals in there, and he makes way okay. better meals than I do. In but in there, in like, an air fryer. In an air fryer, yeah. He makes it like a tin foil ball, and then cooks it in there. Wow. Like a stir fry yeah, and everything. Yeah. I'm a subscriber to his channel, but I haven't seen any of his videos. So, yeah, shout out to that. So, what's his channel again? It's, it was um, it's Alex like, the Truck Guy, right? Alex the Trucking Guy or something like yeah, that. Alex yeah, the he, guy. He's, he's he has some good tips. I mean, he's a fairly yeah, new driver, right. but he has got that's some good. good good tips. That's great. That's great. Do you have a do you have a YouTube channel at all, or do you have anything you want to share out? I I do have a YouTube channel. I just yeah, put, let him know what it but, is some gaming things on it okay. mainly. <laughs> there's a lot of gamers out there there's a lot of gamers i, I know you're playing call of duty while i go right yeah i was playing call of duty with my brother because i like to relax yeah, let, and... let, 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 let the viewers know what your youtube channel is y'all everybody y'all subscribe and check it out if you're a yeah, gamer what is it called? it's it's uh optimus 8304 uh and and cybertron because there was a lot of optimuses out there so i had to put cybertron behind it i have to say it one more time for everybody optimus 8304 cybertron Awesome, 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 man! Yeah. I appreciate you joining. I appreciate you letting us know, man. I'm I'm glad you did this interview. You're the you're the, the first interview with me, hopefully many with Trucking Life with Sean. So it's been a great, it's a great interview. I'm glad you got to share your story and uh, your yeah, advice. Like I said, does anybody got any questions for us? I'm trying here while he's here. Um, I, let's see what we got. I'm gonna read some of these comments right here. This guy says he's been training right now with my trainer, but I'm glad that I chose this time so I could learn to drive in the snow and ice. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, that, that's somebody asked if they should wait. Somebody asked if they should wait till July to start or start now. I, I, I would just I start now. Yeah, we start now. Um, to get, to get the training. Some of the advice that I could give you for driving on the snow and ice is make sure if it's if you know it's icy, hundred percent know it's icy. No cruise, no Jake brake. You can spin out even using your Jake brake. It, it is it's the truth. Um, and if you do catch yourself spinning out because you're using your cruise because it wasn't icy, but it becomes icy, it just just uh, let off the throttle and, it, and it'll come back to you. Exactly. And another thing, if you don't know if it's icy, if you look for uh, the water spray coming up from trucks, you see the water spray coming up. Once it quits, you know that road's freezing over and it might be time to pull over. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you yep. don't go, if you don't know, just don't go. I've learned over time where especially, you know, driving, you know, you drive up Minnesota, it can hit real hard. And then if you pull over the next day, they salt the road, you're good to go. Uh, in cases like, like a blizzard, like you were in a different story, but you know, they, up north, they do salt the roads, but you know, you might wait overnight and the next day you're, you're ready to roll again. Yep. Or, um, 
last year I stayed at at the pilot in Fargo, North Dakota, um, for two and a half days while they cleared the roads because I was going up west. Right. And um, I mean that's close to home, but it's it sucked. But I was at least at the truck stop still. But um, yeah, yeah. just just yeah. Wow. Well, Ben, I appreciate you. I appreciate you joining in. I appreciate everybody watching tonight. I just want to give a quick interview and let him know. Hey, thank you for subscribing to my channel, dude. I appreciate it. I'll check yours out too. Yeah. Um, I don't have very many videos. I have some monster truck videos from quite a few years ago and, and right. some world of tanks videos. Cause I, I love playing me some world of tanks. <laughs> right. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. My son, Jay, he plays games. He, he's a big guy. Here's my son back here. He's a, uh, he's wanting a, um, what do you want for Christmas? What was it you wanted? Uh, probably like an Oculus. He wants an Oculus for Christmas. He's ready to get into that. So they, I don't know. They we'll just see. went. I don't know if Santa Claus is doing uh, Oculuses or not this year. We'll see though. Oculus has just went up another hundred dollars, and it, it. I think it's kind of sucky, but it is what it is. Yeah, it is. He's wanting to get into it, so I don't know. We'll see what Santa Claus does. But hey, I don't want to take any more of your home time. I'm glad you're home. I'm gonna spend the rest of my day. I go back out tomorrow, but uh, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day with them, and you spend time with your family and. Appreciate y'all joining and watching tonight. Thank you, man. All right. All right. Merry Christmas, everybody. All right. Merry Christmas to you too, buddy. See ya. Yeah. Merry Christmas.